Greetings, Knights. The Double Arena Crest mini-event is right around the corner, so why don't we step into the ring and take a look at a couple builds some folks might use to earn that sweet, sweet currency. That Cobalt isn't gonna buy itself. If you know, you know. Let's start things simple with my main build. I'm a mage player myself, and it's okay if you aren't up for that challenge, but don't take this path unless you know exactly what you're getting into. Mages have access to Alder, our deadliest offensive arena hero that allows for turn two kills when properly kitted. Like many builds, this focuses on stacking as much hero power for your chosen class as possible and unleashing a huge attack on the enemy, ideally to wipe them out in a single, efficient blow. By combining a heavy-hitting crit chain weapon to tackle the minions and crit -a with Valiant or Dark Gauntlet depending on your weapon design and a little bit of exposed chance support in our armor, we can land expose and generate enough rage to tear down the opponent with just enough action points. A turn 3 variant of the Alder build exists that is likely a bit more accessible for players not decked out in years worth of hero power that capitalizes on the Strong vs. Acid bonus of Alder. For those that don't know, Strong vs. bonuses increase the damage an ability does by a whopping 50%, and there are times and places capitalizing on that bonus makes all the difference. The version you see here utilizes the Rebel Gauntlet for its fast and predictable rage generation as well as its mage speed boost. Add an acid chain weapon to the mix to power up our favorite sentient tree and a sprinkle of witchcraft to expose our target, and you get a cauldron concoction that is most definitely toxic. Tired of mages yet? <laughs> of course you aren't, but let's show some love to other classes. Hunters have some deadly combinations in their arsenal. Let's start with an old favorite, Grizz and Victor. This pairing nets you a turn 2 kill if you're packing lots of hunter power, so hunter mains, keep your fuzzy friend in mind when it's time to work on your arena builds. One of the best things about this build is you can completely ignore minions, which are the bane of distribution base rage heroes like Alder, because the more targets that are left standing, the further the damage is divided. Since Grizz is a non-distributor, he couldn't care less which monsters your opposition brought to the party. Rebel Gauntlet's Mage Speed Boost, on top of the reliable and script-motivated Rage Generation from a usually guaranteed Turn 1 Action 2 Protect Buff Punch, allows Victor to expose the enemy knight just in time for Grizz to mow the entire field down with a volley of arrows. Don't care for bears? That's rude as hell! Maybe you're more into Anthro Fox Ladies. Degenerate. Mikazuki is easily one of the most fearful creations to step foot onto the warm arena sands, and her strength stems from her largely self-sufficient kit, especially if you have her at max stars. Mika is one of only two heroes I sadly don't have maxed yet, and if I did I could give poor Victor here a break, but since I don't, we will let him tag along to hold the door open into our enemy's heart. What a gentleman. Mika triggers extra rage generation when paired with Logician's Gauntlet because of the way some gauntlets interact with hero speed and gets a damage boost to her rage power as well due to her alignment matching the gauntlet. Victor also triggers the rage condition on base at the expected rate, so it's a solid gauntlet choice for this approach. If you've been paying attention, you've heard me mention THE SCRIPT during this video. And manipulating THE SCRIPT is what this build is all about. Enter the rogues. By equipping a low-level weapon against an enemy in the arena that has a high-level weapon equipped, you can trick THE SCRIPT of the enemy knight into never using any base or rage powers. This is extremely useful for when you want to level up low-level minions, or if you are up against a build that you otherwise wouldn't be fast enough to kill before they kill you if left to their own devices. Don't everyone stare too hard at all the Krita and Ermus defenders. You're making them self-conscious. Why rogues for this approach? Because if you happen to slap Protect on that low-level weapon, and bring Wei Feng along to the fight, especially when he's max starred, you essentially nullify the only dangerous element of your enemy left in this equation, their weapon. Bring Bayani along for the fight with the Lawful Gauntlet and you have two fast and deadly single target heroes to tear down the minions one at a time in a calculated fashion and put some real pain on the opposing knight once isolated. 
This leads us to the last build I'll be demonstrating here, and it's the crown jewel of setups for Guild vs. Guild, and boasts bragging rights as the only known way to kill on turn 1 before your enemy even moves. I'm talking about minions. What do you get if you throw all defensive capability to the wind? Stack an entire set of armor with minion attack power charms, equip a big honking weapon, befriend some minion boost heroes like Maxstar, Pentatonix, and Eren, and stuff a buffet worth of meat into your archer's face that unlocks both gastrointestinal distress and a 60% increased chance to crit? You get the average dining experience in my family's cooking, but also, you get to end fights as quickly as they started. Now, finding enough meat to repeatedly prepare your minion for arena will cause an extreme amount of ecological damage, as you only get a limited number of fights with your buff activated, and you have to keep re-rolling until you're lucky enough to land on this specific boost. But here's the kicker, that buff does not go down in guild vs guild battles. This means that by gaining the desired buff and then not using the minion in the arena, you can take on an infinite number of enemies with this strategy. Level 25 Fortified Dust Tower with 25 Defenders? What level 25 Fortified Dust Tower with 25 Defenders? This method can kill at an alarming speed of roughly 2 knights per minute, so get enough of your friends with this build together for a raid and you can strip a tower clean with the efficiency of a flock of starved Calibans. I mean, vultures. Thanks for watching. Good luck during the Double Arena Crest mini event, and please remember, I'm here to help you. Reach out to me on Discord anytime to talk about this or any other knighthood related topics. Ooh, wait, can you bring me that Mountain Dew?